Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today we're going to be making the other minion, uh, the evil minion um, in a minion ball. So I've done the, the normal little minion ball and I'm now going to do the evil minion in a ball format. So we're going to need a single loom. We're going to have it in the standard configuration, so all the columns are going to be the same height. The open part of the peg is facing towards you. The arrow is facing towards you. We're going to be double banding. We're also going to be using the move it forward technique, which um, I, I developed for doing larger, mur larger murals, larger projects on a single loom. So you will need your base removal tool, which is on the end of your rainbow loom hook. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be double banding which means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one and we're going to be using two different colors we're going to be using purple and black you're also going to need a googly eye now the googly eye I have is about one and a half uh, centimeters I do not have it cut on the back we're going to cut it and thread it through a band so I'll do that with you Okay, and uh, as I said, we're going to do the move it forward technique, so it's going to be a little bit, you know, time intensive, but uh, we'll get there. So we're going to do four purple pair and then a black pair. Let me get some bands ready. This time we're doing two purple pair and three black. And the reason for that is that he's wearing uh, dungarees, overalls, so one has to be higher for his uh, the shoulder straps. And then again, we're going to be doing four pair of purple. And a pair of black. Now, on the end here, we're going to need end caps so take a single band and they're going to be black because it's the same color as what we're using here wrap it once and twice and pop it on the end once and twice pop it on the end once and twice and pop it on the end i had a lot of requests for this little chap um, I think because I did the, the first one, people were like, oh, can you do the, the evil one as well? So here we go. Take a single band and stretch it. This is going to be our crossover band. Now the crossover bands are going to go between four pegs. We're just stretching them between the first three. Okay. Don't worry about that. We're going to need an arm and it's going to sit on this peg here. So what we're going to do is take a single black band, wrap it once and twice, and slide onto a pair of black bands. Now, the evil minions have very long arms, don't they? So we're going to do quite a couple of these. So there's the first pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair, and fifth pair. Now bear in mind we've only come down one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five for this anyway. So uh, the fact that we have one, two, three, four, five, and six should give us a little bit of length. It's going to sit here on that peg. So you're going down one and two and it's sitting on the third peg. Okay, now the other thing that we're going to do is along here, take a single band, do a figure eight, so you've twisted it once on your hook, and we're going to place, whoops, place that here on these. I understand that there's a crossover band there. I'm leaving that there for the minute because I don't want to forget that we need to put one there, but as we loop up, we will remove it, loop our little figure in, and then put it back. So we're going to have a little black band on each of those. So it's just one band that you've looped on itself. Okay. All right. So the other thing that we're going to do on each of these is hair, crazy hair. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice. Now I've gone anywhere from six. And I'm sorry, I'm doing pairs and I'm, I should be doing singles. So you've got your little end cap here. 
He wrapped a single band twice. Single bands, not double bands with hair, because you want it to be crazy. So one, two, I've got anywhere from six till ten, three for chain, chain length. And you want it to be all higgledy piggledy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's do eight for this one. Eight, and you're going to pop that on the first peg. Let's do another one. Wrap a single band, wrap it around twice. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, maybe we'll do six for this one, six, pop that here, single band, wrap it once and twice, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight. Oops, eight. <laughs> we'll do nine for this one. Nine. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we have to loop up the first part and then we add our extra columns. So, what we're going to do, okay is dig down past here, past that end cap, grab those two bottom black bands and we loop up. One, two, three. Now this is where I was telling you we're going to take that off. We're going to loop this up like that. Now we can do both these columns actually at the same time. So let's do this middle column as well because then we can put our crossover band back. So loop that up. Now, you're going to see how you've got these first two loops and the second two loops. Completely ignore this band here. That's the next one. You don't want to worry about that. You're going under both those. Okay. Grab the black band. Just the black band. Pull it forward to the back of the peg and over like that. And we're going to do the same on this side here. It's always trickier to do the center because uh, the angle of the um, crochet hook is harder. Now what we have to do for our crossover band has to go back under those two bands, those two top bands. So lift the two top bands and place your crossover band back. Again, lift the top two bands, place the crossover band back. And then we put that one just here, like that. Then we can loop up and loop up. What we're going to do is we need to have a holding hook, okay? Because these aren't going anywhere just yet, all right? So what we're going to do is slide our hook on and take this one off. Okay, like that. So it's on the center. The the, uh, the hair is on the center here. All right. Turn your loom over. We're going to move the small base plates and budge them forward one spot. And the same on the bottom. Budge them forward one spot and move your column of pegs across. This is now column number four. Okay, column number four. Now column number four, you're going to have two purple and oops, purple and then some black bands. You're going to have three pair of black bands. One, two, and three, you're going to have an end cap, a black end cap, so a single, wrap it once and twice, pop that there. Now because this is only col oh look, our little arm has decided to try and escape, let's rescue that. Come back here, 
Good catch, guys. Well done for seeing that. <laughs> Let's pop that little arm back. There you go. Stay there. All right, we're going to drag this across. Okay, we're going to put another little black end cap here. Now, as I said, this is only going across, this crossover band is only going across four, band, four uh, pegs. So this is column four, so that's number four. Grab this crossover and pull that across and across and across. We're ready. We've looped this one up, so let's loop this middle one up. And you always want to loop the middle one up as well because otherwise you um, you lose you will lose your your bands. This one's trying to escape too. We've got quite a few escape artists today. Let's put that one back. Okay, so to loop this one up, you want to go over the arm. You can take the arm off and loop up, and then put the arm back if that's easier for you. Hey. Come back here. This is your first and final warning. <laughs> We're going to loop this one up to here. Okay, now if you can see, we're okay to go under here. We don't need to move the crossover band. Go under here, grab your black band, and pull forward. Okay, because we seem to be okay there. And loop this up. Now we haven't put our crazy hair on the top of this one so let's take a single band, wrap it once and twice and then another single band, let's make some crazy hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, just do seven, seven, Pop that on the end, like so. We're ready to take this one off, so grab your holding hook, poke it down, those three loops. You've got the hair, the first loop, the hair loop, and then the second loop. Take this off. Okay, now we're turning our loom over and we're moving our big base plate. Throw your hook around. And remove this column of pegs and move it forward. It's always going to be the same height. Okay, we're now on column number five. So we're going to do four pair of purple to start with. So there's one pair, two, three, and four. And there's our pair of black at the bottom. Now, instead of doing an end cap at the bottom, we're going to do a little boot. So take three, three bands, or two bands, take two bands, wrap once and twice, and you're going to slide onto two bands, like so. Don't reclaim just yet. Take another two bands, place them on the end of your hook, and wrap once and twice, and now you can reclaim like that. Another two black bands, slide these over reclaim the end, angle your foot and it's going to go here on the bottom and that will actually act as our end cap. Now the other thing is we're changing crossover bands so take a new single black band and stretch it from the middle peg to the right and the same with the purples middle to the right, middle to the right, middle to the right. We're going to need to put a black band here, single, twist it on itself and pop, oops, completely unravel it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's loop up our center here Dig down past the end cap and loop up and loop up and loop up. Now I am going to release the crossover bands to do this. Okay, I'm just going to pop that one up there while I do it, just so I don't lose it. Loop up, dig down under the bottom band, grab my 
black bands as I said it can be a little tricky because of the angle pull those back and then I'm going to lift these top two and move my crossover band back and the other side back and replace those two bands and loop up we haven't done our crazy hair for here so let's do that single band wrap once and twice and then slide onto single band so there's one two three four And then again, I can see that was wrong. Six, seven, eight, and we'll pop that there. Okay, we're ready to take this first column off, dig down, pass those three, and take that off the loom like so turn over we're moving the mini base plates you can see that little crossover band come off so move those forward then your column of pegs so this is number six number six is going to be fun because we have an eye to put on it so we're going to do pair of purple and they're going to be the same as the comb in front of it so that's four pairs of purple a pair of black now we are going to put a crossover band on this one so a single wrap twice popped on the end here drag the crossovers over we are not going to do this little black end cap here because we're going to place an eye so to do the eye let's grab our googly eye that does not have any adhesive it does not have any loops on it to make it a button I'm going to take some very sharp scissors if you're a kid please get an adult to do this if you're a clumsy adult please get an unclumsy adult to do it <laughs> you're going to make two little slits in the back of the eye focus for you like that and then using a I'm using a finer hook you're poking your hook through and out the other side like that okay now what we need to do let me get it back in focus is lift this crossover band up a bit okay we're going to slide it onto the top band so you're leaving one there and taking one off and you're going to slide it through and it can be a bit fiddly so let's try that again you need to keep it taut there we go so I've got it on there and I've got it backwards but that's fine <laughs> and slide that back on and pull the uh, crossover band back like that so there's the eye on there okay we've got to make some crazy hair I'm going to just put my scissors away so I don't chop my fingers off let's do some crazy hair for this so single band wrap it once and twice and then single bands again one two three four five Seven, eight, nine, let's do a long one, and ten. It does get a little bit difficult trying to organise everything when you have all this crazy hair, especially on the end here when we have to loop it all together. But, um, c'est la vie. Dig down. Pass the foot and grab the two bottom black bands. 
so you've treated that like it's an end cap now here you can lift that over if you want to loop up go under the bottom pair of bands find your black bands and pull forward and then you need to lift up those two loops put the crossover band back and then put the two loops back this is basically so it's the the headband that holds the eye um, you know like it's supposed to be a monocle isn't it loop that up like so let's take this one off the loom like so turn it over we're moving the big base plate this time and then the column of pegs we're now on seven so we're going to do two and it's going to be exactly the same as the one in front of it except no eye that's four pair of purple and a pair of black and no end cap here we're going to do another boot so two black bands wrap once and twice slide onto two black bands but don't reclaim just wait for a second let's take another two black bands and wrap once and twice and now we can reclaim and we slide all of that onto two black bands Reclaim the end of your bands, angle the foot, and let's put that on the end of our little leg here, like so. You can drag these across, because these are going to be between four, and we're only at seven. So drag that across. We need some crazy hair at the top here. Single band, right, once and twice, and we'll slide on maybe do six one two three four five and six pop that on the end here and let's loop up this metal dig down grab the two bottom black bands and loop up and up and up now for this one you need to splay this open and as you loop it over the eye has to pop through okay so that it's at the front of those bands and then it's tricky because you need to pull the eye forward to grab those two purple and loop up we mustn't forget we need to put our little black band here and do a twist on it and pop that on this peg here. Let's take this one off our loom. Okay, this is long arm hanging off. Move our base plates. Move the column of pegs. I told you it gets a bit crazy, doesn't it? everything on the holding hook okay so we're now on column eight we're going to do two pair of purple and then it's black three pair of black so one two and three and we will put an end cap here so single wrap twice and popped on here get my hook out I'm going to put another black here so single twisted on itself goes there and let's spread our crossover bands over this is number eight so this will be the last time we use these crossovers okay we will dig down past the foot and loop up 
Now when we get to here, we can either take this completely off or we can hide it, you know, loop it up. Loop this, dig down past those bands, grab the two black loops. It's tricky. It's tricky because there we are. Because this peg gets in the way. <laughs> All right, lift those two top bands up and replace your crossover and put those back and then loop up. We haven't put crazy hair on here yet, we mustn't forget. Dig down, take this off, turn over. Move your base plate and your column of pegs. So yeah, we've got all this crazy hair happening here. Alright, we haven't got crazy hair on the end of this one yet, but let's do our next, which is four pair of purple. A pair of black. A black end cap, so a single band wrapped twice. We're using fresh crossovers, so take a single black band and stretch it from the center to the right. From the center to the right with a purple. We're going to put a black end cap there. Oh, not an end cap, I'm sorry, a, a loop. You're going to take it and wrap it around your peg, uh, your hook once. We need a new crossover like that and we need some crazy hair for both of these so let's take a single wrap it once and twice and do some crazy hair there's one two three four five Do six for that one. Same, let's go one, two. Slide it onto one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Pop that on the end. Let's loop up, dig down, pass the end cap, grab the two bottom black bands, pushing those crossover bands back with the back of your hook. Okay. Now here, because we have two of the crossover bands, I'm going to take one off, place it above in a holding spot. The same here. I'm going to loop this up. I'm going to sort my little black bands out, pull them forward. I'm going to lift the two top ones. I'm going to put the first crossover band back and then the second one. Replace those two loops and loop up. Let's take this off. Make sure you grab the crazy hair as well. Now, that was, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. we've got a leg, and then we've got one and two. We need to put an arm on here. Let's not forget that. So we need to take a single black, wrap it once and twice, and slide onto a pair of blacks. And then let's copy how many we did for the first arm. So there's a pair. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. yeah, five pair of purples. That's one pair of purple, two pair of purple, three pair of purple, four, and five. And that 
needs to sit here. Okay, so that's his other arm that's going to sit there. Let's do our base plates. We're on the mini base plates, so move those forward. And then the column of pegs. Again, make sure that they're all even. Now we go two pair of purple and then three pair of black. Make sure you have the black end cap, which is a single wrapped around twice. Now we drag this across, drag across, drag across. We need to put another little black band here. So single, just wrapped around your hook once and place on the peg. Drag your crossover. Crazy hair, wrap once and twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and pop that just there. Okay, we're going to loop up this middle column. We have one more column to do. Now again, with the arm, if you want, you can take the arm off. Okay, so take the arm off, loop up, replace the arm, oh, if you can. <laughs> there we go, replace the arm. Now we want to lift up the crossover band, get it out the way, move that holding hook out the way, thank you very much, there we go, loop this up, sort out our little black bands, there we go, lift up the top two, replace our crossover band, and stretch it across to the other peg as well and loop up. Let's take this one off. As I said, this is our, on our last column now. Move your big base plate. Do three pair of purple. Two pair of black. A black end cap. Drag your crossovers across. Make sure you have the little black band here. Crazy hair. Single wrap once and twice. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, and nine. Place on the end here. We can loop both both of these up now. Both, Now we have our little. 
Let's move our crossover, loop up, loop up. Let's do the black bands for both of these. One. Two. I'm going to lift that and hold it in my fingers. There's our first one. There's our second. Loop up and loop up. Now we can take all of this off the loom. Please be careful. Make sure you capture the crazy hair. So you have it all on your loom like this, on your hook, I'm sorry. And there's a the little feet. Now, this is going to be tricky because you want to slide all of these loops onto bands. Okay. Now, I, I'm going to do it as a double band because I want the added insurance that if one breaks, I have the other one to fall back on. Okay. So I'm going to place two bands here and in fact I'm going to tie two bands together because I, I'm going to give myself some extra room have two bands on your hook and two bands on the actual hook slide the ones that are in the middle of your hook into the middle of those two bands and you're going to reclaim the end of those two bands like that and tie a slip knot and let's see if this makes it easier I hate it when everybody has problems with this bit put it on your hook you need to make sure that you keep this tight. If you let it go slack, it will fall off the hook, okay? And then we'll have all sorts of problems. We're wanting to slide all of these over, including the crazy hair. Go slow, okay? If you need to pause me, pause me. I promise I will not get upset. <laughs> I won't even feel a thing gently does it slide it all over if you need to have a little stop pull these up okay the worst thing you could do now is drop all of this off well it's not really but you know what I mean make sure the crazy hair is pointing upwards slide these over And you don't have to slide them the way I'm doing it. You can slide it whatever way suits you. If having, if doing it like this and moving it over one at a time is better for you, do it that way. Okay, you move them over one at a time. That's absolutely fine. Just keep this nice and tight. When you have them all on, you need to reclaim the end of those two bands. Okay, make sure that the eye is pointing outward, and then you're going to take the two closest to you up, over, and off, and pull tight. Now you will find that the other end will come through. Whoops, like that. Do you see? I have it. There's the knot, and there's the other two of my band here. What I'm going to do is actually take my hook out and I, I have to say I hate that hook. I'm going to poke my hook up the center of the minion here making sure that I'm not capturing any of the crazy hair. I'm going to grab those two bands and I'm going to pull it back through the center so that the tie off bands are in the middle here. Okay so I've got them captured in, in the middle of the um, of the minion. If I can, I'm going to undo my slip knot here so that I only have, there we go, the two bands instead of the four. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little clip on these just so that they are secured and don't fall and unravel. Okay, so I'm going to put a little clip right here and I'm now going to deal with 
the bottom circle here and what I'm going for on the bottom circle are these three loops that made up the end caps okay so I'm putting my hook through the three loops now obviously where I have a foot I'm literally just going to go through the band um, above the foot so you can see this band here that's where I'm going to go through like that so collect all of those little end cap loops up on your hook like so you are now going to grab two black bands again keep them taut and slide all of these on keep it taut if you keep it taut then you're not going to lose them okay now here's my two I'm going to take two black bands I'm going to go through here like that so I have my two loops here okay what I'm going to do I need to um, I want to swap this around so what I'm going to do I'm going to hold it up like that I'm going to take another hook if you don't have another hook, use a paper, paper clip or a pencil or something just to hold it so that you can do that. Okay, what we're going to do, take a pair of black bands and slide through those two like that. Okay, then looking here at the bits that we need to tie together, you've got the two bands on the outside. Well, actually, I'm sorry, they're not the outside, they're the inside. They're the two inside bands capture them both like that okay and then take another two black bands and you're going to pull through like so now we're capturing the two inside bands of the purple so put those on and now grab two purple bands and slide through like that and we're going for these two purple bands here. Have them so you've got like that. And slide through. Now, before we get too far, we want our little hook. Or not hook, it's a the clip with our tie-off band. We want that to poke through. So let's grab that and bring that to the to the back here because we want that so I'm going to pop it on my other hook if I possibly can without being too silly splay that open pop my hook through and take that clip off so there there are my tie-off bands here okay now I'm not up to them yet I need to do one more set of purple so I'm going to hold these I'm going to take that that side off you keep one side on your hook I'm going to go sorry it's tricky to show you when this silly hook is in the way okay I want to go through. there's one there's two alright now I'm going to put my hook through the tie off band like that then through the two this side there we are then the two that are captured there grab my two purple bands gosh what a palaver drag them through like so and I'm basically at the top here now um, all I need to do, well I can do one more I can go up through that set and that set and then I'm really at the top take two drag through and then we can tie off like that and you can basically hide these tie off bands in the middle so go through the middle of your minion poke your hook through the outside grab those tie-off bands and drag them back through 
and they can be disguised in the crazy hair like that pull his arms up and down up and down because they sort of have to angle his feet a bit if you want to stuff him you can I, I really don't think there's too much of a need to but if there's bands out the way there you have your little minion ball figure um, eagle minion I hope you enjoy making him take care bye